If you're a golfer whose backswing pivot looks like this, then you're in the right place. Because in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can fix your pivot with a simple swing thought and some simple exercises and drills so that you can get yourself in the best position at the top in order to then set up a beautiful effortless downswing. You do not wanna miss this video. So let's just explain what we're actually looking at in this video. So as you can see in this video here, my pelvis is moving laterally away from the target right there. Now, when that happens, we will see at the top of the backswing, I am in a position to where my spine angle is leaning towards the target. Now, here's the thing. When we get into a position like that, we've now made the downswing extremely difficult because what's then gonna happen is that from here, I'm gonna to have to have a big kick in with my hips. I'm gonna drop my trail shoulder and it's gonna be extremely difficult to have any sort of consistency. Now, often when you see golfers get into this position, they might do a second option, which is where they just spin, swing over the top. It's gonna to be very hard to have any sort of consistent and repeatable contact. Now, what do we actually want to be seeing? Well, at the top of the backswing, I wanna see that my pelvis has rotated, but it's still in the middle of my feet. If anything, it's slightly closer to my lead leg and my spine angle is slightly away from the target. Why is this important? Well, from here, number one, the spine angle being away from the target is gonna help me shallow the club in the downswing. And number two, with the pelvis being in a good position here, I'm going to be able to shift my weight back to my lead side and rotate through very, very easily. So one of the other knock-on effects that this is gonna have is this is actually gonna make rotation so much easier. So you will find that if you pivot correctly, your hips will turn more, your chest will turn more. From there, you'll be able to generate more depth. So if you're a slicer, or a puller of the golf ball, this is gonna be massive for you. And also from here, because you've got that bigger rotation, you're actually gonna be able to keep your arms in front of you and increase your clubbed speed. So really it's a, it's a huge, huge element of the golf swing that we have gotta get right. So how do we actually go about fixing this? Well, I'm gonna go about it a slightly different way and this way has had huge success with my clients. So we're gonna put our attention on two things and we're gonna change our camera angle. So we're gonna focus on number one, the left shoulder, the lead shoulder, and number two, my tailbone, which is right at the bottom of my spine. Now, actually, the camera angle we're going to film from is not that camera angle. It's going to be where the camera is behind me. Now, here is a video of me actually hitting a shot behind me. And we are going to focus from the behind view on the tailbone. So if I draw a circle around the tailbone right there, what do you notice about how it moves in the backswing? It moves towards the target. It doesn't go away from the target. Now, here's the thing. If I flash up another video of what I see most amateurs do when they have a poor pivot, you can actually see the tailbone either stays pretty much in the same spot spot or it works laterally away. Now actually this is a great visual because you can now see how it's going to massively affect my spine angle if I get it wrong versus if I get it right. But also you can see how much more work you're leaving for yourself in terms of how far your pelvis has got to shift on the way down versus if you have a good turn, you literally only have to have a little shift and then you can rotate on the way through. So how do we take advantage of this? Well, number one, I want you to film your swing from the behind view. And number two, what I also want you to do is start to grab some alignment sticks. So what I want you to do is grab your two alignment sticks and place them on the ground just like so. So I've actually got these right on the insides of where my heels would be. Now this lead alignment stick is gonna be a representation for where I want your tailbone to turn over in the backswing. And the second alignment stick on the inside part of my trail foot is gonna be where I want your lead shoulder to feel like it turns over. Now you can see, as I am doing this motion, I am over-exaggerating the thought from if I was doing a bad one, it would look like this, versus if I was doing a good one, this is a big over-exaggeration. In reality, you'd probably be a little bit more here. But again, these are some really simple swing thoughts and visuals that you can use. So if I'm setting up over a golf ball here, I'm gonna feel like as I turn, I turn my tailbone over this red alignment stick right here, and I turn my left shoulder over the alignment stick on the inside part of my trail foot right there. And you can see as I do that, that gets me in a position to where I can create a really nice spine angle. And then from there on the way down, it's gonna be super easy for me to shift and rotate all the way through. And like I said, if you get your pivot right, you're gonna have so many other knock-on benefits, better rotation, better depth at the top of the backswing. Your arms are gonna be able to get in front of you. You're gonna be able to generate more speed, better sequencing on the way down, a better transition. The list is really endless. So great little visual here. Let me now hit a shot with these here and let's play it back for you so you can see what actually went on. So as you can see, that's a little bit more of a draw shape than I would normally see. But actually, if I play the down the line or the behind view, you can see how very much my pelvis turned over this lead alignment stick to start with. And my lead shoulder, my left shoulder turned or felt like it turned 
over this trail alignment stick. And this created a spine angle that was leaning away from the target. And it also got me in a position to watch the transition. I didn't have to do that much work in the downswing in order to get back to my lead side. And this is where you often look at tour pros and they make it look so effortless. Yes, because they've stacked the right pieces right here in front of them. So this is a fantastic drill that you can do to help you with this. Now, how can you actually translate this to the golf course? So in order to help you translate this to the golf course, I have a very simple swing thought for you. And there's sort of two parts to this swing thought. The first part is we're gonna take those alignment sticks that we had, and we're gonna sort of use them now relative to body parts. So we're gonna say, right, I want you to feel like when you're out on the golf course, you turn your tailbone over the inside part of your lead heel. That's gonna be your swing thought. Your tailbone is gonna feel like it turns over the inside part of your lead heel. Remember, this is gonna get you in a nice center position because the tailbone's on the back part of our hips, it is gonna to move towards the target. Now from there, as you do that, you're gonna feel like your left shoulder gets behind the golf ball. Do those two things, you're gonna create this beautiful spine tilt away from the target. Now from there, you're gonna create great rotation and it's gonna be so much easier for you to actually shift towards your lead leg in the downswing and then hit the ball then ground and have some awesome results. So here's what it's gonna look like. My swing thought's gonna be turn the tailbone over the lead heel, turn the left shoulder behind the golf ball, get that real nice big turn. From there, you're gonna be able to get into some really awesome positions. Now, if you need more one-to-one -one help, I offer online coaching on the Skillless platform. The link is down below, so please click that. I also have a free practice guide, links down below. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe, and I hope to see you back here soon.